significantly easier. That actually felt really effortless. Oh, I was Isn't it like a miracle? Yes. Is it more fun? Is it more fun to play like this? Remember what I did? I've been working on this one piece for months, and I still haven't got it to click. I was able to make it work in one lesson. Got it. It was amazing. I couldn't believe I could play like that. Most all of us seem to have those sections in our music that we practice like crazy for weeks or months, but it never seems to go right in performance, whether it's a lesson or a concert. Yet we also know those folks who can pull off live performance seemingly easily, and we call them talented and gifted, and that's why. You're getting good instruction from your teacher, and you have all the tools you need, so what is missing? It turns out it's the way you use your brain in your practice when no one else is around. The way the brain learns best is way different than the way most people do it. In fact, the few people who do it are the ones that seem gifted and talented. Once you start practicing in this way, you start to make a lot of progress very quickly. And it starts to make practice a lot more fun and you start to look forward to it a lot more because you're making so much progress. That's what we do in a practice class. We take one of those sections that have been giving you trouble for a long time that you're never going to seem to be able to fix. And in about 20 minutes, we make it faster, cleaner, and easier to play. I'm here to go into the nitty gritty of why can't we get those notes at tempo? And then we kind of, there's usually a little bit of class participation for this. So, um, what do you think is the hardest section? One that just gave you fits. And he goes right there, he knows. I just performed a solo last week and I had so many problems with tempo and speed and accuracy, but with just 30 minutes, what could so if we started at 80, that's 168. Oh. Yeah? <laughs> I was able to fix all of those problems as well as double my speed and I played it cleanly and just perfect in general. Okay, so if you can do that at 168, how easy will 160 begin to feel on stage? Oh. <laughs> right. <laughs> Thank you, that was awesome. We'll definitely do some more. Thanks. It's a lot easier to not be nervous when you're on stage when you know everything you're about to play is going to feel easy. Imagine what you can do every practice session if we can do this in just 20 minutes. the slurred bowing in there too. Let's go there. When did you think we were just going to do this once? <laughs> <laughs> now try this one. Turn the brain off. Here we go. How did that one feel? Fine. Felt pretty good because the last one we did was 132. That was 126. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> I actually slowed it down. Uh -huh. All okay. right. Yep. So I think, I think the big lesson we learned here today is, or with this particular practice class, is that you have to find what level they're at. Mm -hmm. Greg Goodhart is pretty much one of a kind in this field. He helped my practice become more effective, but then also less painful at the same time. Um, the funny thing is, I actually have a PhD in education from Stanford. So I studied all the stuff that he was teaching me. But somehow he was able to, to bridge that, that gap between theory and practice. And, and that was truly phenomenal. He worked me through some hard sections I just wasn't able to, to get past and gives me strategies on both working through it myself and working through it with the students I teach with. I, I'm, I'm going to try to stay away from master class type stuff and stick with practice class type stuff, even though this is my instrument. That's it. Notice how even when we know what to do, sometimes we don't do it. This is what I mean by the practice journey. You can... uh, he forced me to do the little work that I didn't want to do, um, that later got me inspired to do, just keep doing it and keep working at it. 
and as a result, through his coaching and through his working with me, I'm a lot better student. Well, uh, two, two bass strings, right? And your melody is in this string, so that should actually be the louder one. Ah, you added a note in there. You did P-I-M-I. -I. Yeah, yeah. To be made. I think I made more improvement in that session than I did in a week of doing it by myself. I noticed that my playing just shot up um, immensely and I was able to play things I didn't think I'd play and play them at levels I didn't think I'd be able to. And most importantly, I sounded a lot better to the audience and was a better performer.